Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Sinister. Listen, I gotta bring y'all a different video today. It's been a minute y'all seen me do one of these videos, but I'm down here. Damn, dude. Is this? No, this is from Louisiana. Street Louisiana. Yeah. Exit number, uh, number eight right now. Yep. So anyway, I'm coming out the store. So my brother here, he spot me. He wasn't sure it was me. He like, I knew that was him. I knew that. <laughs> knew that was him. So I was in the truck. He came knocked on the door like, yo, you know I'm the big, I'm your biggest fan. And I'm like, oh man, brother. I say, yo, give me a minute. I'm gonna come out there with the camera. So y'all see me out here. Yeah. I tell y'all, don't let this YouTube fool you. I ain't worrying about the numbers. Holla at me. Holla at me. For real, I don't let this go to my head, none of that. Cause like I always told y'all, it's about y'all being able to get y'all family in position and live comfortable, take vacation, put money up. That's the key thing. Put the money up, put that just in case shit happen money up. Cause guess what, shit happens. They, they do happen. You might have to make a move. Might have a phone call, you gotta go, you gotta fly home. Yeah. But I'm gonna let my boy introduce himself. Tell him who he is. Hey, how y'all doing, man? My name is Flash the Trucker, AKA the Great. I'm with my man Sinister. <laughs> man, I had to stop, man. I'm talking about, I learned right. so much from him. See, a lot of people know him now, a lot of people know him back then. I know him way back then, 10, 10 years ago, watching videos before I came in the game, the Trucker. That you video you talked about, uh, you your own worst enemy. I was still in the projects. Mm -hmm. I was in the house. Yeah. I was in the house. That's in the house, yeah. <laughs> I was in the house. Way, way yeah. back then. Yeah. You know, sometimes you gotta go back and look and see how far you came. Cause you gotta always I'm grow. gonna do that. You I always wanna go back and see where you came from and how you can grow and how you can develop more things yeah. and things around you. Then when Tell I saw him today, Tell him. and I've been in the flatbed game. Right. So when I started, I was in the same predicament or the same era, and I used to watch it every day. Just, you know what I'm saying, just motivating it. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying, it's good to see things outside my perspective. So I'm watching him. I'm like, man, I can't wait to get in truck. And he taught me how to get in truck. Right. By just listening. Listening is the key. Listening and observing and going about what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And his friend, one of his lines say, what's stopping you? Right. And now to the day, I'm like, Seeing in the flatbed? <laughs> the chain gang? Flatbed gang? I said, I know this ain't, I yes, know this is who I yes, think it is. Yeah, yeah. What? So, man. Growth. It's growth, man. And uh, one thing he taught me, I always say for a rainy day and never give up. No matter how, how your day going, without God, yeah. it's nothing. You need God. I wake up, I pray to God every day. Everything I do, I yeah. leave with Him. Uh, when I get frustrated, I stop pull over somewhere safe and I pray. Yep. You know, that, you know, you gotta, you know, it's out here, it's, it's hard, especially in the flatbed game. He coming to the yeah. flatbed yeah. game. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's much more than just driving. You know, we looking out for ourselves, our health, our things around you, our family and everything, man. Man, I never stop trucking though. That was Listen. flatbed game forever. What were some of your trials and tribulations before you got to truck? My trials and tribulations when I came in trucking, uh, like, before I came, I had a regular license, right? And, uh, and I, my license was suspended. So somebody around me when I was working helped out, okay, just, you can stay here and just save money to pay the license back. And I finally got it to pay it back. But the thing about it, I never stopped, stopped grinding hard to actually get my license. Right. But at that time, while watching him, I was already studying at the same time, and God blessed me to get a grant. Yeah. And all I had to do was just graduate. And that's what I did, man. And uh, I told, I prayed and said, God, you give me this. I, I I know what to do with this. This is my stepping stone. But that was my trial and tribulation to get into truck. Right, right. But what I learned is you never give up. Uh, it's not where you it's not where you start. It's how you finish. And uh, the most important thing that I do and I like to do, I like to help others. So it's good to give advice, but if you can show somebody how to do it, you know, that's the best way. You know, we got this saying that most people say, you can give a man a fish, you can feed him for a day, but if yeah. you teach a man to fish, you ain't fed him for a lifetime. Yeah. So that's one of my trials and tribulations yeah. though. Yeah. So, yeah. You gotta have that vision. Yeah. You got to. You gotta have that vision. And at, at, at the end of the day, I haven't, I haven't done a live in a long time. Yeah. But, Here's something, here's something I'm gonna say in one of my next motivation lives. It's not 
your family or your friends responsibility to support you that's not their job everybody got something going on in life and you got to be you got to know how to be self-motivated because sometimes you can be with a woman that don't motivate you because you know what sometimes you can be with you can be with somebody and they know that they see a growth in you and they're going to lose you along yeah. the way yeah so listen keep pushing yeah keep, keep pushing. pushing now i was just telling my brother i said listen i ain't finished high school got no college degree got no gd but i've been out here y'all see me own the truck y'all see me in the hotel when my truck's been down y'all see me make moves yeah. but i don't stop i don't sit i'm like yo why me why me nah you can't do the why me because everything has a, a, a balance listen love has four letters in it so do. but hate got four letters in it You're right so it's two it's balanced you can't have success without failure. And you can't learn without the failure. So okay. And then when you when you when you really struggling, that's when you really find out what you made. You ain't know. That's when you really that's when you really understand what your grind is about. When you're back against the wall. Think about it. Anytime everything is going good, you ain't worrying about how much money you touching. So right. You ain't watching your bank account like that. You just just swipe, just right? swipe. But as soon as that money start getting low, go back to the you eyeball You gotta go back, you gotta go back. You gotta figure out what's going on, you gotta go back, you gotta resurface, you gotta study more, you gotta see what's your purpose and how things is. And yeah. And the money can come, but you gotta, man, you gotta, really, you gotta save it. Yup. You gotta save it, man. And like I, I tell a lot of y'all, learn it. how to start investing. While you sleeping, how that money work for you. Yeah. You shop at Walmart, you shop at Target, I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just saying. Yeah. Think about it. It's about owning things, assets. Because if something happened to you later on, and you get hurt and it knocks yeah. you out of trucking, what other sources of income you got working wow. in the back? Passive yeah. income. Passive income, you can do a lot of things. I'm not a financial advisor, but what I learned over the years is, I do simple math, right? Let's just say, you ain't trucking. Or you might be leasing. Say if you lease, right? Yeah. How I was how I was taught, small money, steal money, right? You can take two thousand dollars, or take just take four thousand dollars, right? Right. So you got four weeks, right? And you you know you lease and you make more than that. So four thousand dollars, you times that by fifteen, that's sixty grand. That's money you you can just put. That's four grand. That's sixty. You do it again and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing. It. You can take take two hundred dollars a week and forget about yeah. it. Don't all add yeah. up. Yeah. All gonna add up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, you know, it's a different thing with your life. You set your life up. Your universe and your whole life, you can borrow out your policy. No more. You can do a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta, you know, listen to others. Yeah. You gotta learn, you know, you know, just gotta never give up and just keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. I'm in the flatbed game, me. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. I, I just got in this side, but as far as van and reaper, for me, I'm done with that song. I did, I did reaper, I did van. You know, but I want to do something different. I wanted to do something that I thought I never would do. I want to do something flatbed. Right I want to strap down loads. I want to haul heavy machinery. I want it. I want to people to follow behind me, blow the horn. You know, I love it when they see a big load and you got to get off the road because the, the cops telling you, okay, you gotta gotta go and get over. I got this coming in. When you see that yellow sign, <laughs> hey, yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's yeah. flatbed game. You know, yeah. You know, I, I love it though. I'm gonna keep doing yeah. it. Stay focused. How long you been focused. in the game? I've been doing it for like seven, eight years. Oh, okay. But okay. I'm a flat. I call it. I say myself, I'm a flatbed junkie. I don't go home. Right. Say, how you? How you run? Oh, I run four, five months at a time. First thing you do, and always remember, if I never tell you nothing else, pay yourself first. Right. Make sure you know you eat right. I'm trying to eat right. Right. I try, but you know Louisiana. You know I'm from. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana myself. I love eating food. See, I ain't going home for no holidays. Right. Uh, I ain't going home for nothing going on because. No, wait, wait, wait. 